Hey there YouTubers, this is Ben, Don, and Dave with True Cable. And today we're going to talk about various different terminology that's being used in the industry in terms of uh, specking different cable jobs, the different type of terminology you might see in a TIA EI specification, or at, when you're talking with different installers or vendors out there in the field. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. So what we thought we'd do is we'd run through some of the different uh, cable terminologies that we hear out there or that you may come across. So I'm going to go ahead and we got a list here of various different ones that are, are very common in the industry uh, and we're going to get the definition for what those are. So we're going to start to my left here uh, with Don. Don, what is Ethernet? Ethernet is a protocol. It's not a cable. Very good. So there you go. Dave, we're going to ask you, what does 8P8C stand for? It's a type of plug used in uh, Ethernet cabling. Yeah, but what's an AKA? Uh, got me there. Is there an AKA for, for 8P8C? Don, you want to take that one? Sure. RJ45s, crystals, ends. I've heard it referred to lots of different ways, <laughs> but an 8P8C is the right name. And we, however, we do occasionally interchangeably use RJ45. Yep. So eight position, eight conductor, eight P8C. Let's go to the next one. Don, how about that? <laughs> what is RJ45? An RJ45 is a port. It is a. It stands for registered registered jack 45. It's an actual port, a jack, and it's defined. And that's what an eight P8C would plug into. Excellent. Thank you for that, Dave. What's a patch cord? A uh, patch cord is a manufactured cable uh, for uh, uh, directly connecting uh, devices to an Ethernet channel. All right, thank you. So there you go, that's a patch cord. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, we got, what's a permanent link, Don? A permanent link is a, uh, a structured cable. It's part of a structured cabling system, it's solid copper uh, category twisted pair uh, cable, and it's normally run from a patch panel to a keystone jack like in a remote outlet. Maximum length of 295 feet at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, very good. So that's one terminology and one thing we might see in a TI spec. The other one is this one. And Dave, I'm going to ask you, what does channel mean? Uh, a channel is an Ethernet circuit, if you will, that goes from device to device. And uh, in most cases, there is a permanent link in the middle, and each device is connected to that permanent link via a patch cord on each end. Okay, very good. Thank you for that. The next uh, one we want to talk about is what does T568A or B mean, Don? Well, you know, uh, everyone's got their very closely held beliefs as to which one's better. So T568A or T568B define two different color codes that the industry uses to terminate uh, APAT plugs or keystone jacks. And A was originally championed by AT&T, and B was originally championed by Bell Telephone. And that's how those two exist. Awesome. Thank you. So there we know. T568A and B. The next one, we're going to get into some three-letter acronyms. So let's start with this first one, Dave. STP. And it's not Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, it's not. It's not a motor oil additive. Um, STP. Uh, shielded Twisted Pair. That's right. There you go. So Shielded Twisted Pair. Don, the next one for you to define is UTP. UTP, unshielded twisted pair. All right, unshielded twisted pair. Dave, what is a NIC or NIC? It's a network interface card. Okay. Network interface card. It's a, a computer component. Very good. You got it. All right, so this one is uh, very important, too, in the industry. Lots of people use it. So, Don, we're going to ask you, what is a punch-down tool, a block, and a panel? Okay, well, a punch-down tool makes a loud bang, or well, bang, like that. It's an impact kinetic tool, and it's got a blade on it, and it's designed to punch wires into a punch-down block. Very good. All righty. 
That sounds great. Or Keystone Jack, you know, for just the same thing. Speaking of Keystone Jacks, Dave, we're going to ask you, what is a Keystone Jack? Oh, Keystone Jack is the female fixture for a 8PHC plug. Uh, the Keystone term defines a, a fitment standard for uh, jacks fitting into things like wall plates and uh, patch panels. Okay, very good. Thank you. Don, what is a drop? A drop is a cable run from the telecommunications room out to the remote outlet. That's considered to be a drop. Okay, very good. The next one we want to define is cat. Dave? Cap? Cat. Cat. Oh, category. That's the category of cable. And it's determined by the uh, network considerations, the, the speed of the network, the uh, distances involved, um, and the bandwidth. Okay, very good. Now we're going to get into a couple more cable uh, acronyms, three letters. Don, what is CMR? That stands for Communications Riser, and that is cabling designed to be run uh, inside walls and between floors in a structure uh, to minimally promote the spread of flame. It's mildly flame retardant. Okay, very good. And then, Dave, what about CMP? CMP is Communications Plenum. It's designed for use in uh, air handling spaces and spaces that have a positive air pressure. It's a formulation of the uh, jacket and uh, um, insulation uh, to uh, meet certain fire standards. Excellent. All right. And then, Don, what does CMX mean? Well, that, that, that's, a, that's a bit of a phony one. Okay, so communications X uh, actually means communications residential. It does not mean outdoor or direct burial. It's actually a, uh, a vertical flame test standard, a very low-grade one uh, that is probably really similar in equivalence to like CM and CMG. But essentially, CMX is communications residential and not suitable for commercial use, except outside. Okay, very good. Uh, moving on, let's talk about what is horizontal? What is the horizontal, Dave? Uh, a horizontal is a type of cable run, uh, a certain type of drop between two positions in the structured cabling system. Uh, a horizontal cable typically goes from a, a, a TR, a, a, an internet closet, to a, a jack in a wall. Okay. Yeah, but it says horizontal. Does that mean it has to literally go horizontally? No. Why not? Uh, because a horizontal terminology came from uh, history when these runs were usually on the same floor. In times past, every floor had its own communications closet, and so the, the cable runs that went from each communication closet to the uh, user areas on the floor. The drops. The drops, right we're all on the same floor, and so horizontal, as opposed to a backbone cable, which would go between communication closets, and that means floor to floor to floor. So backbone, floor to floor to floor, horizontal means same floor. Gotcha. Okay. Well, there we go. So we just got the, the definition of backbone, and we got the def definition of horizontal. Let's move on. Uh, Don, what does TIA mean? Telecommunications Industry Association. And that is a, uh, an association that sits down and, and sets into the recommendations of how to install and configure, test, and troubleshoot structured cabling systems. Okay, very good. Moving on, Don, what does Rojas mean? Well, that's a good one. It's a, a hazardous material... Uh, hazardous material... It basically, Rojas is a is a indication that you're... you're uh, whatever that you have made it does not contain certain nasty things like cadmium and mercury and, and lead. You know, just things you just don't want to go chewing on, you know, before or after dinner. That's a, that's a fair statement. Uh, Dave, what about TAA? Uh, Trade Association Act, something like that. Uh, yep. it, uh, it has to do with uh, uh, sources of manufactured goods and uh, making sure that uh, they're coming from countries and from sources that are um, reliable. Very good. Don, could you define IP68 for us? Yeah, it's a uh, ingress protection designation 
that tells you about dust and water resistance uh, of certain things. Uh, in the case of IP68, 6 is the dust. The first number is the dust rating. The second number would be the water rating. So the first number, 6, means it's dust proof, and 8 means that it can be submerged in water all the way to 3 feet or more. Perfect. All right. Uh, Dave, what does BLT stand for? Oh, this is my favorite. In the summertime, when the tomatoes are fresh, it's the absolute best thing to eat. It's a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, and I don't know what it has to do with networking. Best acronym on the list. Not too much to do with uh, networking, but sounds tasty. As long as I was right. Thanks. Don, what about patch panel? A patch panel is a, a place to bring all of your cable drops together in one spot, usually in a telecommunications room or a closet or a server room or whatever you'd like to call it, also called MDF, IDF too. And that's where your cabling comes in into a centralized spot that you label and then you patch all your cables in from the patch panel to your equipment, like a switch. Perfect. I love it. Dave, OSP, what does that mean? OSP stands for outside plant. Perfect. And if it's cabling and it's going outside, you can say OSP and point to it. All right. Don, what is copper twisted pair? Copper twisted pair stand, is typically associated with uh, category Ethernet cable, so copper twisted pair category cable. So a copper twisted pair cable uh, uses two uh, copper conductors um, to cancel each other, or electromagnetically cancel each other out, and it's used for electromagnetic balance. All right. That sounds great. What about PoE, Dave? PoE stands for power over Ethernet. And it's a very powerful technology which allows the same twisted pair cabling run to be used for both data and power for the device. All right. Thank you. Don, you may have seen the word crimp. What does that mean? Well, yeah. And it, it, a lot of times it's used in the context of when you're like putting a 8PAT plug on something, crimp and terminate become conflated. Crimp refers to the process of the cable jacket being affixed to the termination hardware where terminate is actually terminate to golden contacts. So crimp means holding the cable jacket to the hardware so it doesn't pull out easy. And why don't you go ahead and define terminate? Well, yeah. terminate means that you, you've got golden contacts some way, somehow, that have literally uh, made electrical contact. So it's establishing electrical contact in your termination hardware between the conductors in the Ethernet cable. Okay. Or cable, whatever kind of cable it is. Ah, oh, very good. Dave, what does IDC stand for? IDC is Insulation Displacement Contact. Excellent. That is IDC. Don, what is AWG? American Wire Gauge. All right. It, it tells you how thick or thin your conductor is. By the way, tidbit, as the AWG number gets higher, your cable is actually getting thinner. Or conductor is. All right. Good, good info to know. Mm -hmm. uh, Dave, what is a drain wire? A drain wire is a, a form of ground wire that's found in shielded cable, um, which, is, which makes sure that uh, the shield itself is connected to ground. Um, and, pro and a pathway is provided for spurious currents that uh, uh, sometimes arise in the shield. Very good. Important in your uh, systems, aren't they? Don, what about bonding? Bonding is establishing a low resistance, uh, a low electrical resistance path between two metallic objects. So, for example, you would bond your Ethernet cable uh, to, uh, to the termination hardware. So you'd be making a low resistance uh, contact between the cable shield and the termination hardware so that your termination hardware literally becomes an extension of the cable shield. Excellent. Do you want to go ahead and define grounding as well? Well, grounding is, takes place in the context of bonding, and they, they often get very confused. So grounding is the, uh, is the establishment of a zero-volt reference potential for a AC, a building AC power system. That, that's exa what, exactly what grounding means. You bond to ground. Excellent. Dave, EMI, RFI, three, three letters there of each of those. What do those stand for? EMIs, electromagnetic interference. RFI, radio frequency interference. Excellent. Uh, Dave, or excuse me, Don, what about ESD? Electrostatic discharge, my favorite. Um, that's where you are walking across your carpet in the wintertime and you go, or it could be a, a lightning, which is a lot worse than, 
And Dave, what about LAN? Local Area Network. Perfect. Which is a network that is like in your office or inside your building. Awesome. Local Area Network. And WAN, Don? Wide Area Network. Wide Area Network. Dave, what does CCA mean? Copper Clad Aluminum. Oh! Did we no. like that? No. 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 I'm sorry you made no. me sad. No. No. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, a full list of various different acronyms and words that are used in the industry. Don and Dave both uh, helped us to, to define those. And there's many more, but these are a lot of the most common ones that you'll find out there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please like and subscribe. And as always, happy networking. Looking for your next Sure Cable adventure? We've got some awesome content in our Cable Academy down below. And if you're looking for some fun videos, check them out over here. All right, go for another adventure.